Okay, so here it is, opening day of uh, fuck season. We are uh, actively hunting for a fuck to give. <clears throat> it's been, been about a whole year since I had a fuck to give. Uh, in the state of Pennsylvania, you can use your dog to track fucks. <clears throat> He's really good at sniffing out fucks, you can tell. He's sniffing one out right now. <clears throat> Uh, he's probably about the best dog to give a fuck. Uh, every time wife comes home, she's pretty, she gives a lot of fucks about what Blue had to do throughout the day. So, I had a lot of trail cameras set up. And got a lot of fucks on camera. Uh, I've been flying a drone over here for days looking for a fuck to give. I'm completely out of fucks. I need to get a couple. I got a couple things I need to do. If you watch the end of the video, you'll see why. I need at least two fucks to give. <clears throat> There's about 2,000 acres here probably. I'm thinking we can get a fuck or two out of here. But, uh, Blue, you see any fucks yet? Blue, where's the fuck? Where's the fuck at? Nope, not yet. <laughs> Alright, stay tuned. Yeah, I found a couple tracks of a fuck here. We're gonna follow these tracks. See if we can't find a fuck. Actually, more coyote tracks. There's been a bunch of coyotes around here. If I uh, think about it, I'll put a picture of the one. He's wounded. About to be wounded a lot more. So it's a uh, fuck and coyote season. Okay, blue blue smells a fuck. He's on the trail. Come on, Blue. Where's where's the fuck at? Blue, where's it at? Where's that fuck? He's on the trail. He's smelling it. They have a very distinctive smell. Blue, find the fuck. Come on, Blue. Oh, come on. He's on the track. He's found one. He's one right there. He's one right here, Blue. He found one. Oh, there it is. There it is. Let's go get it, Blue. Right now, I, see, I just found it. I just seen the biggest fuck I have ever seen in my whole life. Oh, she's pretty far out there. Okay. All right. I'm gonna try it. All right. Steady. Steady. Right. I got it. I think I, th I think I got a fuck. I think I got a fuck. Oh man. Let's go check it out. All right, I was able to get, I was able to get uh, two fucks today, which is good because I'm gonna need them both. Uh, I was hoping to use one for this car, but unfortunately, uh, I'm not gonna be able to. Okay, it's important to note that I did not do this lift kit on this truck, so it's not entirely my fault that this uh, this broke, but it kind of is because I hit. I was doing some fuck hunting and I hit a bump pretty hard and I heard some metal break and the steering wheel was turned. Who's calling me now? I don't know you. Decline. Okay. And the steering wheel was turned, but it didn't seem bad. I was like, hmm, maybe just the pitman arm slipped. That's not what happened. Uh, I was going around to turn about 50 and yeah, the steering's like, nope, I'm done. Uh, if you could, I uploaded a short clip of <laughs> what's going on here. So I'm gonna flip the cam around here. I'll show you what's going on. I think something's broke. <laughs> okay, it's important to note that I just undercoat this, and it's a coming so leaks ship power oil. That there would be the pan hard bar. Uh, that's what happened. I don't know if this has an eight inch lift. I don't know if they put a four inch and then they put like a spacer on there, but, uh, you can see the weld broke, ripped right off the cross member. So the steering still turns, but, uh, the whole truck turns <laughs> with the axle. The axle is not solid. You can see it hit the differential there. 
and bent my uh, link bar for the steering, so that's hence why the steering wheel was turned. So, I'm going to get this all cleaned up, do lots of welding, maybe get some new parts, disregard that sway bar, so, yeah, not good, not good at all. This episode of Fuck This Old Truck was brought to you by the time people at Super Clean. Does Super Clean actually clean? Best way to use it, take an old air gun. That, uh, you just line a line or wrap your line the whole fucking truck with. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I've never had any fucking sponsor ever.